Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Larsen Out Overview. I believe this release could be very well comparable to Population 1 even though we don't have a lot of like hype built around it. But I would say giving the gameplay we've been shown, it's a pretty big release. So let's start with it because there's a lot to talk about. So Larsen Out seem to be an online multiplayer shooter arena game. When you control certain characters with their own unique gameplay and skills in the scenarios like Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, all those staple game modes. Now this is very obvious comparisons to Overwatch, Paladins, Valorant, like I've never been a fan of those games because at the time I was a player of League of Legends and when all those eSport-esque games were blowing up I was just dying on the rift. <laughs> There's a lot of rumors about the game and I tend to try not be spoiled by anything that could like downgrade my review or spoil something that I would not like even before playing the game. But here's the thing, every game can succeed if it has a well diverse developer team who actually listens to the feedback of the community and wants the game to progress accordingly to the players that essentially spend their life in it and they care about the future of it. To put just few mentions that I've heard about the mechanics, I've heard that this game does not support like two-handed weapons, which could be controversial but at the same time not new, because Solaris had exactly the same thing with no support of the left hand at all and that was I guess kinda fine but not like tragic in a way. Apparently the game offers like customizations, things and skins which is very fun for shooter, like that's the variety that you wanna bring in terms of differing from player pool in the game. However what the biggest thing I've heard is that it also offers like a progression system where you unlock certain perks to the abilities, for example reloading faster or just having an upgrade in their gameplay in-game. The thing is that you have to be very careful in introducing mechanics like that because it can split the people who just started playing the game and the ones that already are very experienced in it. We're talking in a way that you have a significant advantages while playing the same character which instantly breaks the multiplayer experience and puts the game in a very dangerous state for me, like essentially raising the esports and competitive aspect of it because no game known to me offers that particular mechanic where you would have to spend a lot of time to unlock certain things in order to be eligible to play at a top tier level. But I will see, I'll have to see for myself how it works. Other than that, like for a quest release, I would even say that this is exactly what we needed and knowing the success of Overwatch and the likes, this could very well blow up in the VR community and push us further in the mainstream. I guess the gameplay will be a little bit different because I won't be able to communicate to my teammates in this session because Oculus, obviously. With unique concepts like that, you have to be very careful but at the same time variety in the store is what we strive for and knowing that we have too much shooters this year this brings some fresh air so let's see what is it about cerebral interface established avatar matrix initialized training simulation in progress mm. i'm gonna run through the basics one last time Una, let's go captain all right i want to see what you got but first let's calibrate this thing Remind me, are you right-handed or a lefty? Right. Right-handed. Okay, now use the interface controller on the pedestal in front of you to answer these next questions. Reach toward it with the palm of your hand and grab the air in front of it. There you go, a little electromagic engineering, courtesy of Bosun. Can I just pick it up? <laughs> yes, but why would you want to? And now for your height. Does that look right to you? Ah, uh, yeah, one symmetry off, off, but yeah. Face controller. Drop it anywhere. How's the comfort level? Try rotating. See how that feels. Oh, and while you're at it, focus on the targets around you. Uh, no, I don't like this rotation. Do we have already like stuff? Okay, movement, head. Uh, Turn type smooth tunneling off, and that's gonna be that. Yeah, sure. We'll start out easy. Try climbing over the barrier. Press forward on both sticks to mandal over. Okay, simple. So there's no jumping, you just yeah, cross like that, okay. Crouch to pass this next barrier. If you crouch, you should very nice. Now show me that speed everyone tells me about. Sprint to next right before the door closes. I know you're quick, but how quick? Let's see what you got. You but give me the button. Okay, click. Very nice. Now show me that speed everyone tells me about. 
Gun Riders had exactly the same mechanic with wow, obstacles. That, that's nothing. Hey Captain, can you open this door for me? I did. Hey, don't forget your special abilities. You can always count on those. Lord, I can dash across this in my sleep. Ooh. Nicely done. The scout has set up grapple points to use with our grapple tech. Get comfortable with it. It could save your life. Get good at grappling. We need to get in and get out as fast as possible. Ah, uh, okay, easy. Now for some weapons practice. Let's start at the firing. Now try your sidearm first. Let me bring up a target dummy. I'm no dummy. It's just a simulation. Fire when ready. I'm out of ammo, Captain. The grapple tech also works with ammunition. Try it out. Pull that ammo to you and reload. Great, now reload. Take a shot. Uh-huh, I see. Wait, there's no recall. Really? Alright, time to bring out the big gun. Finally. Oh, that's so weird. I'm uploading your shotgun now. It'll be over your right shoulder where you usually carry it. Dale. Whoa. <laughs> Fire when ready. Whoa, calm down there, killer. Steady your weapon first. Grab the four group, yeah, yeah. Stabilizing doesn't just reduce the knock and improve your accuracy. These weapons have modified firing capabilities. Very snazzy stuff. With enough energy, you can overcharge your weapons and unleash hell. It's even enough to impress Sergeant Sirius over there. Hold off, hand trigger was led to overcharge. Let her rip. Good, now let's get some grenade practice in. Grab and throw a grenade. Don't worry, it's a simulation. Worst case scenario, you hit your chair. Oh, there was no actuation at all. Okay, time to pull out all what? the stuff. Head on over to the arena. Okay, first of all, I don't like the fact that when you shoot, I have no problem with reloading. I have a problem that you press the button and your hand just fucking flies. <laughs> it's pretty immersion breaking to me. It should not just like do animation like that. And what's interesting is that one hand has a laser pointer, but then two hands it disappears. That was essentially what my gripe was with Population 1. You didn't have an opportunity to turn off both of those scopes, but it seems like now it's like you have a choice, which I like, but this reloading thing? That's a little bit weird to me. As well as why my holster is on the left and the right when I clicked right-handed, clearly. Okay, at least there's some recall when you don't grab things two hands. Yeah, okay. And then overcharge. Okay, whatever. This is the combat simulation all have deployable items to use in an emergency. What's yours? Some for a rift. They shoot slow, we shoot fast. Da, da, da. Yeah, whatever. Deploy it now and step into the area of effect. I'll send in a dummy. Let's see it in action. Temporal rift. Step into the area of effect and then fire. Not bad. And there's a cooldown before you can use it again? Yeah. It doesn't take long. Okay, time for a real test. Use everything you've learned against the hostile combatants. Don't worry, this will be over quick. Okay, does it slow, actually? Or maybe it's like when they actually enter the space. Come here. Yeah, but shoot, yeah, okay. Ah, the cooldown, whatever. Wait, what the hell? When you're running, like, your movement is blocked, your arms and stuff, that's crazy bad. 
Okay, now. What? It does nothing. Weird. Really, this movement here? Okay, you're running, dashing, whatever, but your arms disappear. Everything's like blocked. You're literally like <laughs> just a walking block of mass destruction, but like nothing happens when you run. I don't like this at all. Hit you! Wait, was there an out aim? Or am I crazy? Wait, this is an auto aim. What? There's a very big window where you shoot and it automatically aims. Maybe just specific for the shotgun. Yeah, you can't like run and pick up stuff, which just mechanics wise is pretty bad. You actually have to just stop. That's so weird. I guess this dual shot here, it's like auto aim range. I'll have to try out with other characters or whatever. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. I've seen enough as well. Welcome back to the lovely Oh wow. Grab a snack at the bar or sit back and relax with some music. Uh, why can I play my music? You're not here to DJ, you're here to steal things. Now make yourself comfortable. We're going to be here a while. Holy hell, that's a very fun environment. Whoa. The turn system is pretty big. When you're ready, this is where we'll get started. Uh-huh. Running almost. Okay. What is this? Notoriety. If we play our cards right, we should get some attention. Notoriety is a good thing. Yeah, I know. Huh? Challenges? I know you all have your own personal agendas. Just don't compromise our work, alright? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Store. You know how to use the psycho generator, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Ben says hi. He's just happy with all the business we're sending his way. I think those are actually the perks, right? That kind of upgrade your character. Ah, oh, the specials are blocked. Okay. So I'm just playing as Kalima for now. You have to earn it first, darling. Let's go straight to the game. The menu is pretty cute, but I'm kind of worried about the mechanics in action. Everyone's <laughs> Kalima. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> also, yeah, you know, you, like you can play as the engineer. It's unlocked. I love his one shot. No, I only saw one unlocked. Where to go? So it's yeah, also just capture the flag. Up. No, you can just. Oh, dang. The hey, hey, hey! I, I hate the sprint. The sprint function is terrible. Yeah, the turning on it is garbage. The sprint function, I hate it because you're just sprinting around and you can't shoot in that mode. And it's hard to rotate as well. Yeah, you can't rotate. I think it's a bug. No, I can rotate just fine. I don't know. No, yeah, when you're super slow. Gonna... Yeah, when you're full sprinting, it doesn't turn as fast as the speed you want. Oh, I see oh, the damn. latency there. How do you I get? Lost the uh, yeah, the you do not look at anything in the like, first area. Good. Now maintain. Great. Now they control. I just yeah, finished the tutorial. We're losing points. Hold the area. Sprinting so annoying. I, I think we uh wreck me, wreck me. One down. Uh, we're barely winning. I keep forgetting I have dash. <laughs> Great. Now yeah, me too, position. man. Let's go. None. That's indeed pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like the shotgun as well. You can overcharge it. Later. Yeah, the HF have to just fix the spin spray team mechanic and the turning and game solid. Yeah, they're gonna fix like both of them. They said in the old map. Like immersive spring. So that's what the nice. hell? How do you get this character? Is this a dev? Like, how would you really have this character? Probably a paint Yeah, like a dev. YouTuber. Finally, music. Where was it before? Those footsteps are so confusing. They're like everywhere. We're gonna come through here. Oh, it's close, guys. We're only up at like 50 points. Yeah. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Oh, shit. Come on, you can run out of ammo. Ah, uh, no. 
10. Oh, how am I top one? What? Oh yeah, you just gotta level oh, up gotta to get him. him. Okay, so yeah. I unlocked the new special this. Nice. I have to every time pick this pilot. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. I'm not particularly a sniper person, but we'll try it out, why not. Kalima is my playstyle, kinda. I'm just kinda experiencing the mechanics and stuff like that. The sprint is absolutely garbage. I mean, it's fixable. Just weird decision making in terms of competitive, like, that's so bad. So he has sniper rifle and handgun, okay. But I have to have, like, a distance. <coughs> Are there, like, revolvers? Enemy in my sights. You're done. Yeah, I'm kind of useless. <laughs> nice yeah, I'm switching hard. <laughs> I forgot that we have this here. <laughs> What the? That was not that high. <laughs> I see you. Come here. Then. Out. <laughs> I don't know what's the objective here. Take a ball? Something like that? Oh, damn. Dang it, I could pull out my shotgun. Two? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what the hell happened to the movement here? What the fuck? What's the objective? I have this ball, but I'm confused what to do with it. Shit. <laughs> I'm running. Ah, like that, okay. Good work, kid. Keep it up. Oh wow, I'm useful. That's oh shit. Get another drink. I'm there. We're halfway there. Alright, so I'll I'll just <laughs> get busy with the work. objectives. Fuck. In order to hack Ay ay ay. What the hell? Oh, the dashes. Now let's close this out. Okay. This music just randomly starts. Yeah, dude, I don't want to. It's like there's no headshots in there. I'm hitting him in the head, it's just not work. So much machine gun's pretty nice, though. The enemy has I want to get the sniper already, man. Oh, 
<risos> ai, ai, ai. Uh, still best. I mean, I just kinda get the gameplay, yeah. but it's a lot going on, that's for sure. Alright, I already know what's up. There is a big potential. The problem is that the core mechanics for now doesn't work at all if we're talking about fast-paced shooter. A lot of things are just contradicting the idea, like the movement, dashes that don't connect and then blink you in other direction. Like, there's a lot of gameplay issues here. Music randomly turns off and starts. Like, the objectives, you have to kinda play a couple runs to get the idea, but then it's like easy to understand and like carry the matches. The immersion is none because of the reloading. I think the sprint is actually the worst idea in this game but that's something that can be fixed because this is just movement in your own personal space. Like you run, you can't move at all. Are you blocked with everything and then you wanna like stop but then there's like a delay of half a second to just actually prepare or whatever. You can't do anything, you can't turn with a joystick to actually sprint in corners or whatever. You have to stop and then sprint or with your head. Like with your head it's more convenient but like you can actually turn with a joystick and it's not a problem of locomotion because in place you can but sprinting? No. I do like this achievement system I'm just unlocking things. I did not unlock stuff to have an advantage in the match. Uh, this is like a lot of credits for now. I'm not gonna see it for a while how it actually revolves and what's the difference between the players that doesn't have it. I think it's very similar to Solaris how it released at first unpolished. This is like the exact same situation but kind of worse to be honest because the whole locomotion system and just mechanics are unpleasant to play with. I hope they will fix it because this game has big potential. The gameplay is actually pretty straightforward and fast so quick in and out with games and just demolish people around that's the idea of it like overwatch and stuff but firstly the basic things has to be fixed as well as i don't know why gun is my left pocket not in right so we'll see if they will take the feedback into the consideration you know for now to me it's unplayable but we'll see the future about it